Good morning. Megan has made us lunch. Cauliflower barbecue ranch. Vegan ranch. Cashew. Not cashew. Vegan though. And then celery and then carrots. Yum. It looks really, really good. It looks like chicken wings. It's going to feed my urge. Yeah. Literally have been in this room trying to upload this freaking video. It's been like telling me it's like 95 minutes and then like 95% done I mean and now I just like it said that it couldn't complete it so now I'm at 20 minutes now. Oh, this struggle of trying to upload a video, man. Just upload for me, please! It's already like 1.38 right now. God, just hurry up, please. I just wanna upload this video. Up in this bitch? Gonna get crunk? Eyebrows on point? <laughs> get at me, cuz! You're drunk. <laughs> Cuddle buddies forever! Cuddle buddies, don't add the cuddlesters. Cuddles. We're making out here. Me and my boo right here, you know, chilling, relaxing. Relaxing. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm gonna miss you, you know what? I'm gonna go pick up my niece. Ness is gonna take me. And yeah, I'm like a little delirious right now because I need more water in my system. In my systems. But yes, I wish I could just be a pup and just relax all day. But look at, he has treats down here and he doesn't even eat them. Like, two really good treats. He doesn't even eat them. You don't even eat your treats, son. Why do you do that, huh? Son? Huh? Hello, kid? Okay. Eat up. Eat up. Freaking piggy. Piggy dog. Get on the freeway! Traffic! Woo! Marty! Yeah! Who brought the alcohol? You? Awesome! Woo! So now we just got some foods and we went to this really cool place that sells all these really, oh my god, they have strawberry popcorn and grape huckleberry. Oh my god. It looks good. Uh, all this stuff looks amazing, but it's like a little shop that has all these other little shops inside of it. It's really cool, but. I'm gonna get some water and something sweet. I'm trying to look for something sweet. Something that's gonna be, that would feel like shit. Ooh, they have red I want everything, but I can't have everything. <laughs> so we're at Kettleman's um, City, right? What is it called? Kettleman City. Kettleman City. This place has everything. Oh my gosh. Like, this is a dog park right now. Like, ah, so freaking cool. I'm probably gonna go out and run. Oh my gosh, FedEx. I think there's a FedEx, like, over there, I don't know. They're probably cooking. They're probably like, Biggie bad. <laughs> Your face. They're making meth on Yes, there? who knows? So? I watch too much TV. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for my niece here, but thinking about going for a run because the food that we ate is kind of hitting me, so. Ugh. So now we're gonna go to this, oh, there's a bunch of gnats right there, but we're gonna go in this castle. Or whatever this thing is, but so cool, man. Oh my gosh. It's like something off the scary movie. Hello? This is so cool. Ness, we can live here. We can. Oh my god, is it 25 10 cents for show? Crow chicken. This is just for. What? What is this? That's really cool, uh, though. Do those things turn on? I think so. The crow. I don't know where the hell the chicken is. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, it's cool. This place is pretty nifty, not gonna lie. I'm on top of the world. Have you fun there? So I forgot to film this, but you picked up my knees. There she is. Wait, who's lighting? There she is. <laughs> Kindly everyone. But um, now we're gonna drive back home and I'm gonna knock the heck out. Nasty, you have been a trooper. You have like, mm -hmm. you know, you've been good. I've been good? You haven't even fallen asleep. No. No, not at all. I, you can't. You can't drive, yeah. I can't drive and sleep at the same time. Oh, you can't do that? I can do that. Can you? Yeah, that's why I got in a car accident. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to go to sleep though. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. <laughs>
Good morning, everyone! So, I'm gonna be doing a couple of errands for my sister because um, she's gonna be getting ready for the Teen Choice Awards, and I don't mind picking them up because uh, I like adventure. But every single time I pass by this, I literally want to. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna show you guys, okay. If I could wear a cape every single day and just like play, I definitely would. Dude, I would be like freaking like. Swordmaster Ninja! <laughs> oh my god, I just really just want to wear this cape like everywhere I go, just like. Music is just one of those things where I get lost and I get so emotionally attached to songs and it's crazy. Every single time that I tweet about a song, it's not like just because of the cool beat or something. It's because most of the time it's because of the way I'm feeling. And um, a lot of times people don't like know that because it's like I don't express that because like why well, like, I'm feeling emotional so I'm gonna tweet a sad song. And a lot of people say, oh my god, I love that song. It's like, but like listen to the lyrics. <laughs> listen to the lyrics. Like that's what I like. God, I want to find a guy that can find, make me a mixtape and a, a good one, but um, yeah, I, songs are very expressive to me, so whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I'm feeling happy or like optimistic about life or anything, I have like my own little playlist that goes with it, so, and I'm just, guess I'm just one of those weird kids, but I love music so much. It's always one of those things where it's, I listen to it in the morning and I f fall asleep to it at night. And I already have like a song ready for me in the morning. Like I already have like a song ready for me after this vlog. Like I love music way too much. Oh my gosh. Sing for me. And song and some J-pop song. Ooh, J-pop. Go for it, girl. Sing it. Anime song is a classic and Oh, gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. So now we're finally in Little Tokyo, don't mind my hair, I just like really just walked under uh, one of those doors that blows air, you know? But um... My niece is with me, hey guys. But now we're gonna go to the Hop Nop shop because we need to uh, find Megan's outfit. She's gonna be my little helper today. Yes. Three minutes away, hey, where's that cute girl? Get out of here, come here for a second. We're right here. I was looking for somebody, Megan come here. Always down what's, there. Your what's your name, what's your name? Hi, Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Alright, where are you from? Oh, look at someone's on stage. From Illinois, Riley, do me a favor. I was looking for somebody I could bring up on stage. Who is this person? Arden Rose, I see Lauren you, Elizabeth Arden. Too. Lauren Elizabeth and Arden Rose, I see you. Look at her. Freaking Arden Rose. Oh, look at you, look at me. Arden Rose looks like Lana Del Rey. Look at her, so confused right now. Oh, yeah, look at her. She's so curious right now. Oh, Again, here we go, guys. I love her. I really like the ceiling. I know it's really like, like, weird to say, but to I don't know. I think the ceiling's really cool. This is your last chance. Oh, 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 I'm gonna end this vlog. I had a lot of fun at Teen Choice Awards back at home, obviously. Um, yes, had a lot of fun. My niece had fun. That's all that matters. I love that girl to death. Security guards were really mean this time. Like I went to my first time going to this kind of event, and I've learned that they're snooty people, and um, a lot of people are snooty over there. But next year will be different. There are people that apologize for it because they're being mean to me, and I was just generally just trying to have a good time. <laughs> but um, long story. Had a good time. That's all that matters. Um, had a really good co co phone call c conversation with my mom and dad. Um, 
couple minutes ago, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because they were very, like, you know, they gave me some really good advice. Um, I was telling them about how it's kind of hard hearing these, like, love stories, kind of, in a way, about the, my friends and people just in general in my life that, like, you know, people walk up to them and tell them, like, you know, want to go on a date with me? And I've never been on a date before. I've never, I've, I've taken people on dates, but I've never been on a date before, and my mom was like, there's something wrong with that. She's like, you need to stop putting all this energy into, like, wanting to go on a date, and she's like, it will happen. She's like, don't stress over it. And, it, you know, being like, I could just hear all these really romantic stories and stuff, and it's like, oh, man, I wish someone could do that for me, but ultimately, it's like, I shouldn't be striving for that. I should be working for on myself and focusing on myself, and, you know, you know, it's so true. It's like, when you work on yourself and focus on yourself, then the person is going to come along and stuff. I, I need a, why am I so needy about that? I think it's just human nature, just wanting to be loved. And with me, I do it in the very get-go. I, like, you know, say, like, uh, when we're when we're just, like, very starting off, I'm like, I have feelings for you. It's like, whoa, calm down. Like, you need to take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. You need to be friends first, ultimately first. I get to know the person and stuff. And it's like, I ultimately want to, you know, I don't want to play games. I hate games. I hate, 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 hate games. I hate them so much. But that's how people work, I guess. And it's just, it's, it's very difficult because I'm that type of person where I know what I want and I'm not afraid to be expressed with my emotions. And some people are. So I, I need to be more understanding with that. And it's hard because I, I'm trying to make friends, but ultimately, like, uh, you know, some people are very compatible. And, like, it's just hard, you know, because it's hard finding people that are, have the same interests and that are the same kind of quality as me. And then when you do find them, it's like they're either A, very far away. B, they're just, you know, just trying to be friends, and it's just, it's like, awkward, because they talk about guys to you, and it's like, I like you, <laughs> just talk about me, <laughs> and it's like, but it's, you know, it's, it's hard finding people that are, that have a mutual same thing, it's like, why would you, why would you put time and effort into something that's not gonna happen, you know, but, that's what I'm not going to do, and I'm definitely just gonna focus on myself, and that's what I'm going to do. My mom and dad are really, they gave really good advice. Just focus on yourself. Don't let anyone get in, get away, um, stand in front of you with your dreams. And it's just, I know, what, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm really tired. They gave me good advice just working on myself and not wanting to be in a relationship because it will come. And I finally will get taken out on a date. <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you guys, like, somebody out there just, like, don't. You guys are fetuses. Do not try to e tweet me or email me and tell me that you want to take me on a date when I go when I go on your Twitter feed or something or check like I was like who is this person and it's like a 12 year old. It's like does your do your parents know that you're emailing me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but um yeah, I don't just one thing. It's like there's someone out there for people. You just you'll find them. You do time. You do time. Um and I remember the night is dark and full of terrors. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, though. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new vlog. Goodbye. Yeah.